these scientists have told you the other side of the global warming issue. When debated in a public forum where both sides of the story are told, many people who once believed in man-caused global warming suddenly become skeptics. There's a reason for this. This happened only last week. There's a debate uh, when, when it's balanced. It's, and let me make sure we understand. When I talk about skeptics, I'm talking about scientists who believe that the science is not settled. When I talk about alarmists, I'm saying they're the ones who think that it is settled, okay? When the debate is balanced, the skeptics win, the alarmists lose. In New York last week, a major debate took place to maxima, to examine whether this is the goal, whether global warming is a crisis. Prior to the debate, the hand ringers, the alarmists, your guys in the audience, outnumbered those who didn't think it was a crisis by two to one. After the debate, it completely reversed. The results of our debate. After our debaters did their best to sway you, you went from 30% for the motion that global warming is not a crisis, from 30% to 46%. Against the motion went from 57% to 42%. So, in terms of opinion change, those in favor of the motion have carried the day. Congratulations to the team for the motion. When people become informed with the information presented in this video, they often become skeptical about the increasingly shrill drumbeat of doom and gloom put forth by Al Gore and the alarmists. The only serious evidence that the alarmists have are the far from perfect global models and the hockey stick curve and they don't have the hockey stick curve any longer, it has been thoroughly discredited. The rest of the evidence is circumstantial, not unlike the proverbial blind men describing an elephant. They just don't know. No one does. Trying to understand the causes of climate change is akin to putting together an extraordinarily complex jigsaw puzzle in which we are still missing many key pieces.